Guys, how's it? Ah, hey, man. guys, how are you? I know I probably look like my problems, but you know what? The right to age woman. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Hi, guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new video. So, this is the beginning of a brand new vlog. A weekend vlog that is today is friday i came out of work a little bit early today it's like just before three and i have an appointment now at the nail salon for three o'clock to go and do a mani please love my nail situation look at this what is this honey look at this growth look at this growth my battery is flashing let me just change this battery yo thank god i bought a spare battery thank god I, bought, I knew this morning when I was taking this camera, but mm, it eyes on last. Let me change the battery. We're back. Okay. So I'm on the way to the nail salon to go do my nails. Um, and I have to do them today because tomorrow I have an event. So Sana, even tomorrow I'm outside. Um I'm outside, my dear. I'm outside. So I have an event tomorrow. I'm going to be speaking at Ayan Davana's event, um, the Equip and Elevate event. And it's going to be hosted by the founder of Equip and Elevate, which is Ayan Davana. Quite excited about that. Nervous, I'm not going to lie, really nervous. But I'm excited and I want to look decent, you know. Bye bye, Ini. Um, I'm running a bit late for my nail appointment, so let's let's go here. Yeah? Let's go. I ran away from heartbreak. Got nothing in return for my pain. I never thought I'd be so empty, so alone and afraid. Wasn't looking for a lover Nobody understood where I've been I guess I thought I needed more time To protect my love from potential offense So I very dry lips today is saturday it's like quarter to eight and today i'm going to ayanda's event that i was telling you guys about yesterday i went to the nail salon to do a mani and a pedi um oh my finger uh, my hands are so dry i'll show you guys exactly when i've like moisturized my hands <laughs> What my pet, my mani, sorry, looks like. Um, let me actually oil my hands. I'm waiting for Ukaka, and I'm just gonna finish my hair while I wait for the good sis. Um, and then we're gonna head out. The event starts at half past eight. The reason why I ended up going to Life Lux is because I stopped going to Grace, and I found another salon called Lux Aura. Um, but they were fully booked is all so I couldn't book to go at least the lady that I wanted for her to do my hair was like fully booked so I couldn't go there um, so that's why I ended up going to life Lags. and Utulu um, actually did my nail Utulu is my old nail tech not Utumi like Utulu uh, those of you guys who've been here for a while might know the difference between a Dumi and Utsulu, but yeah, Utsulu did my nails, she did a really great job. I really like her both as a person and I like her work. Um, but yeah, now and then when I came back from the salon, Izolo, I literally like passed out. 
my husband got us dinner and i passed out my dear <laughs> i was so exhausted i was so exhausted and then i woke up this morning i struggled to sleep but i woke up this morning at 3 a.m so that i could wash my hair and curl it for today's events and i kid you not i literally started washing my hair uh at about four just before four o'clock maybe 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 half past between half past three and four somewhere there i started washing my hair and i realized um is all that i were gonna have load shedding at 6 a.m so thank god I was able to see that because then I literally finished doing my hair just before 6 a.m. this morning. I'm really excited about today's event. I am a bit nervous, but I'm still excited. Uh, maybe it works. I wore this clip when I was going to that Fushimi event and it was really nice, but should I try? Does it work? I feel like it's ruining this hairstyle though. Yeah, no, I don't have it. These are the earrings I'm wearing. They were actually my wedding day earrings. Mike, dear? Hey, friend, I think I'm outside. Oh, okay, Mike. I'm yeah, like, no, and then Uzaboni. Oh, I see you. I see you. I can't believe Michelle. I'm mentioning you. Hey? I'm mentioning you. <laughs> oh my gosh. He might let me come open for you. But I just I just saw your card now. Huh? Okay. Yes. It's so beautiful here. <gasps> what? Who says Jane Sweet to get up, huh? Is it the look I thought it was like dancing shoes. Is it dancing juice? Eh, like I never thought Who about Who cares, it. baby? But that makes more sense. Uh, I think I wanna marry you. Just say Tell me straight. Uh, two, straight, straight. Two. Mamela, two circles, yeah? Straight, where you call Straight, where you Two circles straight and straight, and then it's like all about something where it's touch. So this is. I just feel like you're gonna get confused. Okay, until I end up. When you arrive at Stain City, please inform security that you are going to 19 restaurant as the booking equip and elevates. I'm so excited about this event. I love that friend. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. No, I'm still nervous, but today excited. Friend, the fact that that's your hair, honey. And in fact, like I want to run my fingers through it because I believe. <laughs> Friend, the clippings is the same. You mean you mean press on? Press on. The only difference between clipping and press on. Clippings are you clip into <laughs> your hair. <laughs> press on, and I think we put on your nails. Yes, I love your nail color. Thank you. I really love it. Friend. I did this manicure is all. Okay. I want to picture you in all You love it, Pekin. In my wallet. We're going to my friend. Yes. We're going to 19 restaurants. Equip and elevate. Thank you. You see all these beautiful black women, we are definitely in the right place. Finally won't get enough, finally be riding on my way. Finally woke up with some luck in the back. I don't give up what someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moon. Stay in the moon with me. Um, I'm first going 
to introduce to you guys Equip and Elevate. I don't know how many of you guys have been watching the podcast. We're on season two. So if you haven't, guys, like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Go to YouTube and start learning. Um, equip and Elevate. The aim of the podcast is to provide young female leaders, entrepreneurs, professionals, and creatives with resources so that they can be equipped and elevated. We want to encourage a new generation of women to redefine success on their own terms and live audaciously in their purpose. We hope that through inspired conversations, it will bring a new perspective to women who are looking to grow and thrive in their personal journeys, careers, and businesses. The topics range from navigating our personal journeys to building our careers and businesses to living a purpose-driven passionate love guys it's not only it's not only to build a business you don't have to have you can build in your nine to five you can come up with something from your nine to five so it's not just for entrepreneurs but you that are sitting in the office and seeing bigger for the company you're working for you know so I hope you guys take a lot and yeah, learn. And to have such an influx of women mm -hmm. wanting to be mm -hmm. in this kind of space has really been amazing. So thank you for honoring that invitation and honoring the hearts to be here. Mm -hmm. You woke up from a while, haven't seen you smile since December. Ripped your heart, got a brand new one since you got lost in November. And you know, when once we had her, I learned so much. I even wanted to change my life after that, you know, um, because she had so much wisdom to share. But outside that, I love how she's built her career. I love how she's found ways to essentially be in a nine to five job, but then she has side hustles, which is not easy because yeah. me, I have a, a, you know, I clock in and you still have to do all of those things. So our conversation really is about building wealth from nothing and having to say, how do we diversify? Um, and she's going to be more focused on sharing her personal journey on this. So Zizi, welcome. <laughs> I'll just do an intro for you guys. <laughs> Thanks so much and I'm really, really happy to be here. Multiple streams of income. Can you take us through that and how you found the balance? It's not easy um, yeah. to do all of that. And the importance of side hustles, I mean, not everyone is in that kind of space, mm -hmm. but what kind of freedom has having a side hustle brought to your finances and your journey in that? Mm -hmm. Um, just to provide a little bit of context, some of you guys who may follow me on Instagram will know that I don't have a balance. I think that in certain, in certain seasons of our lives, it's actually just not possible. Yeah. And you just have to, I guess, prioritize what's important in that season. And other things will unfortunately either fall to the wayside or receive just parts of you. So I do want that to be clear so that no one's under the illusion that like life is perfect in that sense because it's not. I grew up pretty poor. I think from a very early age I was able to identify the situation that I was in. And I was able to, to, to see the fact that I, only I can get myself out of here. Yeah. From quite a young age I always knew that I don't want to live my life poor. And I want to change the trajectory of my life, my children's lives, but also for my parents and my siblings. And so I, I purposefully went to university with that already in my mind. I was first an unemployed graduate for about a year after I finished my degree, which was the biggest shock of my life. Um, but I was, and I started in corporate. Didn't earn very well at the beginning, but within corporate, I was able to identify, okay, this is where I am right now. These are the people in corporate who earn well. This is the work that they do, and I want money, so I'm going to head in that direction. But through the years, I've also learned that in order to build wealth and to actually even have money to save and to invest and buy assets, you have to have money. Yeah. Um, money that is beyond just paying your bills. Yeah. My corporate income has always kind of been enough to sustain me and my little family, um, but I needed more. I also understood that the trajectory which my corporate career was heading was not kind of meeting the lifestyle that I want to live. And by lifestyle, I don't mean the level of luxury that we might like desire, because you can achieve that in corporate. You really can. Ooh, do we have no shedding? <laughs> 
I identified the fact that the life that I wanted to live, I didn't think I was going to be able to achieve that in corporate, not in terms of material wealth, because I know that I can achieve that in corporate, but in terms of time and flexibility. Um, and because one of kind of my life's priorities is to be a wife and a mother, a present one at that, then I decided to pursue an alternative. And I had to kind of look at what do I have on my hands? What skills do I have? What knowledge do I have? And then what am I naturally adept at? And I know that I have financial knowledge. I've worked in the industry. I know how money works. Um, and I care about the financial development of black people. So let me direct my energy towards, towards that. And touching on, what does it mean to build wealth for you as Uzizi? So for me, building wealth has kind of revolved around, first and foremost, building financial stability and not lacking for my needs. Yeah. Secondly, for me, building wealth has also been about buying my time. Mm -hmm. You know, my husband always says to me, whenever we have to like, pay for something that we didn't like, expect, and it like stresses me out, he's always like, let's just pay, like we'll make the money again. Yeah. You know, um, because we will make the money again and again and again. But the time that we lose, we can never get back. Mm -hmm. One of the gifts of Iman is, is having the ability to buy back your time. Mm -hmm. Whether it's outsourcing some of the basic things that you need in your household, whether it's choosing when you work, and for how long you work. It's only really financial stability and wealth that can afford you those things. And also funding the things that I care about. So being able to give abundantly at church, being able to fund mission missions, and being able to, even outside of church, being able to give back to projects um, and initiatives that I care about and I think are important. And then last but not least, it's been about changing the trajectory of like my family and providing an example to my sisters but also to like other young women who kind of grew up very similar to me that life can actually look different it's very true that we are i guess as people of color in the south african context we are a couple of steps back and maybe for most of us within our lifetime we might not necessarily be able to catch up to our white counterparts but we can do a hell of a lot to change the trajectory of the future generations that will come um, ahead of us. I think maybe just going into now your relationship with money, what is, how have you sort of implemented or some ways you've improved your relationship with money? What are some tips you would give anyone here to say, hey guys, when you leave here, just leave with this one thing, how you can improve your relationship with money? To be honest, I don't think it's gonna be one thing, yeah. um, because I think this is a journey that takes time, probably a couple of years. When you come from for lack of a better term, poverty, there's a certain level of, I guess, shame that you, that you experience when it, comes to, when it comes to money or the lack thereof. But aside from that also, there's a very big knowledge gap. And, and, I, and, and I think that, that part is important because I think that's probably the easiest place to start is to educate yourself. Educate yourself about what is a retirement annuity. What are tax-free savings accounts and how are they different from regular savings accounts? What's an emergency fund? Where can I place my emergency fund? How, what is the, the, the best way for me to budget where I am now? Um, very basic things like that. When you work in that big corporates and you have like your seniors earn in the millions, um, and you think that because they have so much money, they kind of have it under control, but when things happen in their lives, whether they lose a job or um, a spouse gets sick or whatever, then you see the cracks that really exist in people's finances. Yeah. Um, when a spouse gets cancer and you don't have medical aid, the breadwinner in the family dies and there wasn't a life policy that was in place. Yeah. You know, when conflicts arise in the family and you didn't sign the proper marriage contract for yourself when you got married. You know, um, it, it's when those things happen that you see even people who earn five, six million rand don't have basic things like medical aid because they spend most of their money on yachts and vacations. I think it's very important to 
educate yourself about the actual basics of managing money. Secondly, I would say understanding and accepting where you are. I've had to sit down with myself over the years um, and really kind of evaluate about, okay, my peers are able to do this because they have the finances. I, on the other hand, right now don't have the finances. And that doesn't mean I'll never have them. It just means for where I am in the context that I'm in right now, this is what I can and cannot afford. And I think that requires a lot of self-awareness and introspection and emotional maturity. But, but it's not something that happens overnight. It's, some, it's, a, it's a muscle that you need to practice again and again and again. And then third, let's say being honest about what you want and what it takes to get there. Um, and then lastly, getting better with money requires you to make more money. And, and I know that like, sometimes we don't really want to hear that. Um, and yes, it's true that when you manage your money better, you can live off much less. But your relationship with money can get better as you make more money because as you make more money, there is more to spare. And when there's more to spare, you have much more clarity, you have much more, I guess, room to be able to do whatever you want, however you want, whenever you want. So I think in, on top of managing our money well, we also need to like, be intentional about making the money um, and figuring out what are the ways that we are willing to implement in our lives to help us make more money. See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for a while Let the frame blur out for a while Stay in the moment Stay in the moment with me Give you a moment to Give you a moment with me Smell all the roses Smell all the roses with me so deserving yeah. and you deserve much more and we know how much it took for you to bring this together you are a gem you are sunshine you are everything God has said you to be and more we appreciate you and we love you and keep becoming yeah. and keep blooming yeah. and we are privileged to be on the sides to watch you be yeah. we love you oh. Oh. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us at the first equipment elevate. Can we see you at the next one? Yes, definitely. Guys. Yes, he comes. His name is Stanley. He comes once a week on a Wednesday. Yeah. Does the pool in the garden. Hi guys. <laughs> We're back home. I'm so tired. It's like after five. <laughs> Look what I got at the event, guys. <laughs> this was a goodie bag for the speakers. Yes, I have a feeling this is other mugs or like inside plate. My friend Vula. <sighs> Such nice packaging of it. Mm -hmm. I love La Crusade so much. Can I see upstairs, guys? Yes, yes, definitely. Okay. Okay, Mike, it must be Let me charge your phone. Why does it Why don't you ever take table for to be your last one? Huh? Imagine, imagine if he went to today's event. Well, he was today. gonna be. Yeah, all these events are going to be. Oh my goodness, Simmons! Simmons! 
the no shame that's so generous Fred. that is so generous oh my gosh i'm I so impressed oh bet this is stunning Garubona. can i see the ones you've taken out it's mad my friend this right? is absolutely amazing Dynasty. it's a beautiful day to be alive <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I know my Oh, there's another gift. Go on, Jay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it's also cool. And this is beautiful. Yay. Strength, stem. Strength and stem. Fighting inequality with floristry. Strength and STEM is a social enterprise. Our mission is to train and develop women affected by gender-based violence using forestry as a tool. Oh, yeah, oh it's such a nice concept. Oh, it's a flower yeah. delivery service. Like, oh my gosh, oh, this is so lovely. nice. Mm. These are pretty. And the other one's back. Hmm. Yeah. What's this? How about there's even roses? I don't know if an invasor is a Wow. Yeah. Sure, this must be expensive. Son. He said that I don't watch all of Very. it. Very. It's not just you. My you husband know. doesn't watch my videos. I, this is yes, my I friends don't, friends. don't watch I my videos. My man, like a friend, once I go up these stairs, answer so quick. <laughs> She will come back right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I see my hair. Where are you going? Going to Willis. Going to Willis. Going to Oh, okay. I'm thinking I don't. You're going to Willis like the supermarket or Willis yeah, the, the garage? The garage. You're going to the supermarket? Why? Why are you going to buy? A few things. Like what? That I'm missing in the house. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to buy onions and. Are you cooking? Mm, bread. Babe, we have onions. No, we don't. On the veggie rack, there's onions. We? Oui. There's a whole pack of onions. But bread is finished. On the veggie rack. I'm sure you don't even know we have a veggie rack. You do. Yeah, we have a pack of onions. Right there, yes. Okay. There are the onions. You see, there's, there's probably like 10 onions in there. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Are you going to cook? Uh-uh. Oh, you just... You, why, why are you going to buy onions? So that we can back. <laughs> yes, my dear. I'm sorry, my friend. And then they got you. And go see what you know. Oh, they didn't have sun now pointing up a putting. I'm so thirsty. Like, I'm dry, dry. And then I know that delicious designer, but the finish like this. I'm in black. Yeah, curry lashes is before you drive home. Honey, I drove with these lashes. There's another app. What do you mean? Friend, why is it like that? Yes, I change a bag and price the middle. Wait, automatic. Yeah. Friend. And you will have to say. Eh? Yeah, that's coming to say. There we go. I am Jennifer so much. But I was telling. Put that in part. Guys. I'm. Eh? Oh, to come activate our armed response? No, we have to enter the separate contract. So I said I have to talk to you first. Before I How much is arm um, response? This one. Thank you. This is the last thing I needed. I'm literally about to wash my hair. And now I cut my finger. <laughs> yeah, what a name that I did I ever have you vlog? You woke up at like one. I, know I did about. wake up at one o'clock and I saw we have cargo over up here, sir. Yeah, come. Hey, man. You're strong, go yes, Linda. It's Saturday morning, the following Saturday. After we came back from the event last week with Ugaza, I did not have it in me <laughs> to continue vlogging. Because you know what? My sick back again. Next week, we vlog. So, la pa ngoko. I want to film a wash day, a, a Olaplex wash day routine. Um, and I want to show you guys like some products that I use on my relaxed hair and some tools like the blow dryer that I use, the flat iron that I use and so forth. Later on, I'm going to go and have lunch. Probably lunch. I don't think it's going to be brunch. It's going to be lunch with Utebojo Mohua Dube. No, my husband, another Utebojo is a she. Um, I'm going to go have lunch with a girl. 
and then tomorrow um we're not gonna go to church unfortunately we had planned to but my cousin is in town with her husband tomorrow Okunjula is in town tomorrow with ex her husband Kalani. and so they want to come and see the house and then after they see the house we're gonna go out for breakfast like a family so that would be really nice um yeah that's my weekend i'm gonna do like other things in between but that's like the main event of my weekend i need to edit content because i want to put up a vlog tomorrow trying to be consistent i'm finally starting to feel like myself again sorry that i've been looking at the beef fan this whole time but i'm finally starting to feel like myself again which i'm really happy about my energy levels are getting better um my mood is getting better um yeah aside from that also i need to make sure that all our bills are paid my husband drew up our budget for the month a few days ago so i need to implement that budget i need to pay move money to our bond pay our insurance all our bills all our bills um yeah that's my plan for the weekend and i hope that you enjoy what remains of this vlog comments on the fact that the local bank in Mumbai last week please okay it's not my washing machine couldn't say poor and one time I'm not going to spend a thousand two hundred rand on a dress and then not repeat it <laughs> guys it's three o'clock my lunch with the devil has not happened yet she texted and said she, she had gone to a funeral actually in the morning kind of feeling it's a colleague's funeral because I think by it like as M17 but she's back now um, and she's just freshening up at home so I'm thinking maybe I can just do a quick yana, quick face because one thing about me this year guys I'm committed to being a beautiful girl like I'm committed and I'm going to do it no matter I washed my hair ne? I did my wash day routine and as I was finishing, like literally just as I finished pressing my hair, maybe five minutes after or ten minutes after, five to ten minutes after, the power went out. The power went out at 12. And then I'm gonna like a prayer a month. Because I didn't even get to properly do like my intro and outro. It's fine, let me get ready. For my lunch with Utebucho, we're going to um, Saint in Sanson. Can you believe I've been living in Johannesburg for two years, more than two years now, and I've never been to Saint ever. And if she didn't suggest it, <laughs> like if Utebucho didn't suggest it, I probably would have said to her, "Let's go to Tasha's." I kid you not. Oh, I'm gonna plan for me. My dear, 
Why One thing about me, my friend, I'm committed to to my pretty girl era. Please, I love it. I love it so much. I'm committed, Sana, to my pretty girl era. I'm going to have lunch with Utebuho. <laughs> if I can tell you the truth, I think this camera is a bit lopsided. Actually, it's not there. There we go. If I can tell you the truth, get my idea about what happened. And when I earlier on, when I was doing my makeup, tomorrow and after morning, my memory card got full. And then I thought, okay, um, let me try to find my other memory card. Because I do have two memory cards. I didn't find my memory card. I literally turned this room upside down and I didn't find my memory card. And then, the girl that I was meant to go out with, she phoned me. She didn't phone me, she texted. She was like, I'm a few minutes away. And I was like, <gasps> so I quickly tried to export my footage onto my like hard drive so that I could store it. Because there was vlog footage here from like previous vlogs that I still needed to export and edit. Yati Lendo is our tata an hour to export. And guys, I literally had five minutes before I needed to leave the house. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to vlog my cute lunch date with Otebo home. I wasn't able to vlog. We actually didn't end up going to Saints. We ended up going to um, Olives and Plates at the Embassy Towers in Sanson, which was oh, so beautiful. And she got us like a nice table outside and there was like such nice scenery. I will take you guys there again. I just don't know when though. <laughs> I just don't know when, but I will take you guys there again. Um, but I'm sorry I couldn't take you today, but like it was just it was out of my control. I thought of vlogging with my phone, but uh, no, I, I don't I don't want to do that. Also, I feel like the the camera on my phone is not as good as it was when I first got the phone. You get what I mean? So like it's blurry, and the lighting is off. And I don't know if maybe I scratched my camera or what, but the camera on my phone is not great anymore, unfortunately. So that's why I wasn't able to vlog with my phone sorry guys sorry i'm gonna clean up we act ah oh, it's five to eight yo so i'm gonna try to clean up this room quickly and then i'm gonna wrap my hair um and then i'm gonna go sit in bed and edit tomorrow's vlog i want to put out a vlog tomorrow so i'm gonna sit in bed and edit tomorrow's vlog if i may say so myself let's clean quickly in these five minutes that we have it's not even cleaning in fact it's more like it's more like just tidying this place up so that tomorrow it's not a jungle in here Sunday. I think I might have spoken too soon about my energy levels coming back to normal because Jenga, they are not coming back to normal because I am tired. I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Today's Sunday. It's 10 a.m. My cousin is away here with her husband and we're going to go out. 
for brunch. They want to see the house and then we're going to go out for brunch. I better bring my clippings, but what is this, honey? Okay, let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me attempt. Let me attempt. Say, Kalila, or red love shedding. Yo, guys, like, we are breathing through the wound with Escom. Let me tell you. Hi, Bo. See, pay from Langan, neighbor, guys, is what is happening. Pay from Langan, neighbor. Hi, Bo, hi, Bo, hi, Bo. I didn't wrap my hair last night before I went to bed. <clears throat> Hello? Hi, Dante, we are at the gate. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, before come open. Okay. Okay. Baby, tell about full life. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hand, said, Let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy three we just got home a few minutes ago and we had lunch with my cousin Okunjula and her hubby and we went to Walmart Grove not Walmart Grove man um what's that restaurant called Olives and Plate it's at the Embassy Towers in Zanzibar if I didn't already mention that it's so beautiful there it's one of the few spots in Johannesburg, the few restaurants in Johannesburg where your view is not the parking lot, you know. <laughs> I only got like B-roll footage. I didn't capture us like chatting and whatnot because I just wanted to be like present in the moment and spend time with them. The last time we saw them was at 
our wedding which is like a year ago um and we probably won't see them again for a while well actually i'm gonna see okunjula when i go for my cousin's lower negotiations about december um but yeah i won't see them for a while so i thought oh, let's just spend some time with them so i just you know place the camera there and there you know and not like directly in our faces and capturing our conversation just so that we can enjoy our time together and then they headed off and went to the airport to catch their flight back to durban and then um the hubs and i went and um did a little bit of shopping i got a dress from poetry i'm gonna show you guys just now but i got a dress from poetry i'm so excited i'm so excited i want to try it on for you guys and then i'm gonna end this vlog here can you see that this is the dress it's giving you know it's giving it's giving we're outside it's giving we're on vacation you i don't even know if you guys can see but it's giving very much we outside it's giving we on vacation it's free it's giving give me my mazaza and full face of makeup ilanga lipanje bring me my mimosa you know <laughs> this is the dress it's a maxi um you do have to wear it with some like shapewear because i mean the material is thick but it's not lined so at the back for example it hides my bum a little bit at the back or not that hides but it, like grazes my bum a little bit at the back so you can see a cellulite you know um so i will have to wear it with some tights i can't just like wear it by itself or at least i don't want to that i can't add. i don't want to um but yeah this is the dress it's so nice Let's see if you guys can see better this side can you see better this side no you can't yo yinina guys see i can't explain it i'm into you in fact i think i might wear this dress on my birthday i think i might just do that hey because i'm such like a curvy girl such a big girl I feel like when I wear isn't it that are oversized, it just makes like the off the like the bigness bigger. I feel like I need to add a bit of shape when I wear isn't you know, so that me shape yam ibe ko has that. Is that better? Is that better? You guys tell me. Is it better like without the belt or is it better with the belt? And yes, like, what's frustrating me about this is that the green in person is not like the same as the green in the picture, like in the, in, the, in the video that I'm seeing in the viewfinder. But it is what it is. If we were to go on vacation, this look would be perfect. I do think I'll need to buy like a green bra though because I can't wear like a nude bra or a different kind of bra. So I think I'll buy a bra that's gonna match the dress you know this would be so nice with like a louis v sandal Sabawel. Sabawel, i think but yeah that is it for this vlog you guys i really hope that you enjoyed it um <laughs> i really hope that you enjoyed it and if you did please give this video a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel and putting on your post notifications so that you know when a new video comes out and if you haven't connected with me on instagram i am zizi Molok on instagram and i have a home page it's kind of inactive for now it will start being active once i start my renovations but if you don't follow me i'm zizi Molok on instagram and i have a home page called zizi Molok home Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing under the night sky. When you took my hand, said, Let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy.